Hello everyone. I'm Leonardo Ronchetti. I am from Brazil. I'm the owner of TechCon Engineering. It's a consulting company about uh, structures and lifting with cranes and transportation. And I'm going to present you today uh, some works that we are doing here about uh, the simulation and monitoring of special transportation. That is uh, special cargo, special equipment that must be monitored to the transportation. It may be by uh, maritime transportation or plane using uh, trains or even uh, using trucks. There are many loads that are sensible to vibration, sensible to impacts, and uh, we need to measure the parameters of the stability of these loads during all the way long, during all the transportation, because we need to know that the load did not went to uh, values of vibration or other parameters that are not specified or are out of specification of the manufacturer. Uh, so we need to record those parameters. We need to record those values so we can be sure that the equipment arrived at the destination with no defects. So I hope you are seeing my screen. So I'm sharing with you uh, a very simplified notebook showing the only the summary of the results. There are a lot of data that is uh, measured during the transportation. So I try to summarize it uh, for you in this notebook. Those kinds of equipment, they may be a transformer, electrical transformer. They can be a wind turbine. They can be a, a medical equipment and, and so on. So the, those kinds of equipment that need to be monitored. Actually, they are expensive ones and some of them are very complex to do the transportation. Uh, for example, there are some kind of wind turbines that you have to couple a motor or engine to permanently rotate the turbine during all the transportation. You can't let it stop. If not, you're gonna damage the bearings. So if you're gonna use a, a maritime transportation, you have to supply electrical power, you have to uh, install this motor and keep the motor running all the way long. So uh, it's very complex and we need to monitor this situation to be sure that uh, no damage occurred. So I'm going to present here uh, is the is a, the transport of a transformer, an electrical transformer, and it's moving by road using a truck. It's just for example, okay. Uh, the, the trip took uh, 45 minutes, so it's a very short trip. But here in Brazil, we have a long distance, just like the United States and Europe. Uh, may, the journey may take days. OK, so let's see the, the notebook. First, we import some functions 
we establish some path for the, the data files. And uh, the, first, the first thing that we need to, to monitor or need to get the data is the inclination or the tilt of the equipment. And in this example, to make things funny, we use it a cell phone. The inclination will be monitored by a cell phone. Okay. Just like uh, this one, you have many apps that use the, the gyroscope and the accelerometer, but to make uh, things more and more funny, we are going to, we are not going to get the raw data. Okay. We are going to get the, the screen showing the inclination because it would be a little easy if we get the, the raw data and just numbers. Okay. So what uh, are we going to do? We are going to use this app with this inclination and we are gonna read the numbers on the, on the screen and we are gonna transform uh, those numbers to a digital meaning, okay? So uh, first we establish a function to find the center of gravity of the bubble. The phone is gonna show a bubble with the inclination, just like a uh, a lovely bubble, okay? So it's, it's a, a function that correlates the value or the position of the bubble with the inclination. And here we have the, the frames of the transport. So uh, it's more than 80,000 frames, about four, 46 minutes of transport. And we have the camera positioning just in the front of the truck. So here we can see all the path. This is the, this is the final position, okay? So the load is on the back of the truck. And all the trip was monitored with inclination sensors. Okay. Well, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can see here that we have uh, some Bumpers. Let me find some speed bumpers. So we have we have an, an impact. We have trees that can impact the load. We have to stop to make turns. Well, maybe uh, I guess there, there are uh, four or five bumpers. Maybe we get them in the next slide. So we, we can see all the frames. Well, I guess there is there is a bumper right here. Oh, here. So we we can check all the frames. Anyway. Later I find it. 
the buffer. Okay, so we have the, the frames of the transport. And here we have the frames of the recording of the screen of the phone. Okay, so, so we're gonna measure all the way long and we have the inclination shown by the bubble. So we need to get those numbers in each frame, we have to get the inclination value in both uh, y and x direction. So you can see here that we have 1.7 in one direction and 0.8 degrees in the other direction. So how can we read that? So we use image processing to find the position of the bubble this region here. So we have the center of gravity of this uh, part of the bubble. We use here uh, the binarize function, and we also use uh, select components to get this part. You know, you can see here that it has a, a, a very a peculiar shape. So we get the center of gravity of this part of the image and we can correlate this position with the inclination shown here. So for each frame, we get uh, this value. So we are, we are calling it an analog sensor Actually, it's, it's a phone, but we can use this technique with any analog sensor. So if we can't install a new sensor or a digital sensor in the equipment, it's very, very useful. Okay, so we can use it, for example, in a, a dial gauge. Okay. So we calculate the inclination, and now we have it, the, the values of the inclination for each frame. As we can see here, all the way long, you see that there, there are a lot of uh, small impacts or, or small inclinations here, but we have a large one here. Is So it's gonna show if it's, uh, outside the boundaries of established by the manufacturer. Okay, so th this is uh, a detail of this area here. So we can see here that the truck stopped. It was not moving in this period. And there was a bumper here and with a uh, great inclination. Well, gathering those, those numbers together with the video, we get the inclination data and the transport video. Now we can get, we can have our digital sensor, our inclination sensor here. We, now we have the transport, the transport video and we have our, analog sensor and now we have our digital sensor so when we we move here we can see the inclination all the way long of the trip we can check if inclinations are okay as established by the manufacturer and, and this is a, a a very interesting method because you can establish how good is this route if the, if it has many impact being uh, 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 high inclinations you can choose another path and if you do this several times you can use uh, 
AI to find the best route. So you can use it in, in a lot of uh, applications, okay? And we can also use the data imported from the accelerometers because we monitor temperature, we monitor the uh, inclination, we monitor the acceleration. With the acceleration, we can obtain the, uh, the, the impact loads okay so we can check if the if it was achieved high values then specified by the manufacturer okay and with the i'm going to stop the sharing i'm going to share another notebook okay here we have the we can overlay any control or any sensor that we want. Here we have the accelerometer in, in both directions. And, and here we can, can see the acceleration during all the trip. So it's just like the, the one that I showed with the inclination. So uh, this is very useful. And what are the challenges as you see here it's a, a post processing information we have to monitor these we have to bring the data to the computer we have to process the data so uh, the challenge how can we do that in real time i'm gonna take my computer my laptop, go to the truck cabin, and how, how can I monitor this in real time? How can I send uh, alerts? How can I send warnings uh, to the driver in real time? We need a lot of data processing. We need uh, a very fast CPUs to do that. So that, that is what we are uh, searching now uh, to develop the, these techniques for real-time monitoring, okay? So that's it, that's a, a, a very uh, practical application. I hope you enjoy it, okay? We have uh, some time for questions. If you want to use the, the chat, okay. So this uh, this application we are also using to monitor the loads when lifting with cranes. Sometimes you have to monitor the inclination to see uh, or to find the distribution of the load in each crane when you use uh, two cranes. So it's very, uh, very interesting. Also this application. Oh, th there's a question for crane lifts. Uh, if we are also able to monitor in real time. Yes, uh, the, actually we are using, uh, wireless sensors to get the data and we do not need so so much processing so when we use it in the the crane lifting we can do this in real time but our goal is also to get this information and process this in real time and compare with the expected values to guarantee that the, the real operation is going on according to the design, according to the planning. And if not, some kind of warning will be issued. I'm gonna share with you a video with the, the transport.
Uh, another question, if we would not drive first the route to see if it's in good condition, yes, you, you can go, you can install the system on a car and go to the, to the route. That's also possible. Then you come back and, and process the data. That's also possible. And you can go to alternative routes and choose the one that uh, has many, has less obstacles. Okay, if you can see my screen, here we have a transformer, okay? And here we have the, the crane, the, the, the crane lifting it after the transport. Here we have the truck and this load was being uh, transported on this truck. Okay, so it was tied on the truck and the measurements, the, the sensors were installed on the transformer structure, okay? Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, if you need, uh, any other information, please get in touch with me. I'm going to put my email here. Okay. Oh, there is another question. Here's, uh, here's is an idea for real time processing. You could use some hardware in the loop and use system model. Yes, that, that's an option indeed. So actually we have uh, some options to, to make it uh, real time. So we are, we are trying this, we are on field doing, ex expert, uh, doing experience. And this is a very, uh, very promising research. Okay. And side is very, very funny to do it. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Bye.